This is the wine bar game, which is a business simulation for one, two, three or four teams, so it's fairly flexible, and each team will be running a wine bar. And each team gets a team folder, and in the team folder, in loose leaf format, are all the details they need to know about their business, how they're going to manage the money, where it's located, uh, there's a survey of the town that's involved, and teams are going to make decisions about their wine bar, how much they're going to charge for their wine, uh, how much they're going to spend on advertising, how many staff they want and how much they're going to pay them. And then these decisions are fed into a laptop and the laptop produces a profit and loss account and a statement of their loan because they have to borrow money to run the business. And it's the team at the end who's made the most profit. Now the key thing about this exercise, as opposed to some other business simulations, is there's no interaction between teams. So if you have three teams, they're all running the same wine bar and they're not interfering with each other. So it's a very good measure at the end about which team has run their wine bar most efficiently. And what we do at the debrief when we're looking at how they've operated and how they've made their decisions and whether they've made any profit or not, is I say I'm going to buy one of the wine bars and they each have to give a presentation of how they've managed it and what they've done well, what they've done badly. And I say I'm going to buy the, the wine bar from the most successful group and that works very well.